Welcome to Ground Control. I have I have replaced my my uh, 4045 prop with a Jim Fan 5030 prop on this Racer Star BR 1306-3100 kV motor that I used as an upgrade motor for this plane. Uh, the 4045 prop that I had on there worked fantastic. Um, no problems whatsoever. Uh, plenty of thrust. I had, but I was wondering what, you know, if the speed controller on this plane could handle a 5030 prop because with the stock motor, with the 5040 prop that it came with, it, it was pulling a lot fewer amps than this motor is with this 5030 prop. I had sent a, an email to WL Toys, which is the parent company, I believe, of XK Innovations, the ones that make this plane asking for information on the amp rating on the stock ESC on this. Now I sent the request to WL Toys probably a month ago. Never got a response back from them so I emailed the sales department at XK Innovations asking for the same information. That's been at least two weeks ago. Haven't heard a word from them. So if you want any um, sales support or tech support or information on these aircraft from WL Toys or or XK Innovations, I think you're out of luck. But anyway, I, I, I couldn't resist going ahead and putting a 5030 prop on it. I hope that the speed controller that's, that's stock in this thing can handle 6 amps. The 5030 prop pulls 5.9 amps in a static position. So it's going to be pulling about 4 amps when it's flying through the air. So um, fingers crossed, I'm going to take this out to the field and give it a test flight first with the 5030 prop and and then we'll see how it performs in acrobatics because with the 5030 prop on here on this motor um, on my thrust stand it was putting out 202 grams of thrust so we're going to have a, approximately a two to one thrust to weight ratio on this plane hopefully that's not over propping it um, i'll have to see if it produces any torque roll but um, if the speed controller doesn't burn out on it, I think I'm going to have a lot of fun. So, see you out at the field. Okay, just another line of sight flight with this one. This is the third battery pack today. And uh, then we'll be finished with this plane for the day. It looks like the speed controller is handling the additional amperage to Fine. I was full throttle for quite a while on it. So it doesn't need much space to take off. And uh, me practice landing anyway is basically the first thing to like. <laughs> Pretty fast.
Okay, so you saw the flight, and it was fast, and I have some FPV acro footage to also show you. I think this thing's going to have pretty much unlimited vertical. Um, the upgrade, the original upgrade with the Razor Star BR-1306 3100 KV motor with the 4045 prop is a very good upgrade. And, um, you know, a 1.4 thrust to weight ratio with the five by three prop that's on here. Now you get about a two to one thrust to weight ratio. And I checked my batteries when I came back, my longest flight, cause I'd set my timer for three minutes. My longest flight was three minutes and 40 seconds. And the battery pack still had 7.6 volts or 3.8 per cell. So you, even with the five by three prop, you should be able to get six minutes of flight time out of this plane, which is awesome. So I think that's, uh, it's been an excellent upgrade. I'm glad that, uh, at least so far, the speed controller has been able to handle the additional amps. I would say that I was probably at full throttle for probably a period of about five seconds maximum uh, during the flight when I was doing the, uh, um, you haven't seen it yet, but when I was doing the vertical climb, um, so the speed controller is holding up so far. Um, you don't have to go to a five by three prop. You still have plenty of thrust with the 4045 and it uses lower amps. So you could probably get seven minutes of flight time out of this motor with the 4045 prop. Or if you're like me and you like as much power as possible, then, uh, 50, 30 prop. When it comes time to change the motor on the XK DHC2 Beaver, I'll be doing the exact same upgrade to that plane for sure. So, and that you'll you if you watch this watch this video and and the portion of the video where I was coming in for a landing, I was coming in a little bit too fast at the end, and you know I was I was going very very slow, and then I just punched it, and you could see how quickly this thing accelerated back into the air again so so yeah very good upgrade i hope you enjoyed the video i hope you if you need to you can perform the upgrade and have confidence in the, that it's going to work even with a 50 30 prop so please give a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe